This video is about web browsers on the Windows operating system and the pros and cons of each web browser and generally information on which one you should use. So first of all I'm going to talk about Internet Explorer. Internet Explorer is the most common web browser and if you have the newest version of Internet Explorer, which you should, uh, it looks something like this and this is the browser most people are familiar with uh, but in general for computer users this is the browser that everyone uh, basically says you should stay away from it is the slowest of all browsers and it is the most insecure against viruses and the like um, you would think that browsing on different the browsing the internet is the same for every single browser um, but it's really not it depends on how the browser handles the web page and Internet Explorer is widely considered to be the worst uh, second one I'm going to talk about is Mozilla Firefox and this one is more commonly known and Mozilla Firefox looks something like this it's pretty basic most of most of you have probably used Firefox and it is a decent and very good alternative to uh, Internet Explorer. Uh, recently I found it a bit clunky. Uh, it's kind of dominating if you look at the top bar. Uh, when you see some of the other browsers you'll see what I mean. And uh, it's also a little bit slower. It's important to understand however that these browsers are continually updated and are always different. As in this is Firefox 3.6 and uh, I believe another one is coming out soon too. I mean they're very often updated and it's important to keep your browser no matter which one you use updated to the most recent version. version. Uh, Firefox is a little bit faster and a little bit and much nicer of a uh, uh, browser. Uh, the important part about Firefox is the extensions and I believe all the browsers now support this but extensions are essentially add-ons that you can attach to Firefox to make it better. Uh, Firefox is highly customizable and features thousands of extensions. However, most of these extensions uh, feature problems and uh, kind of slow the browser down. So I kind of stopped using them. And uh, I switched to Chromium. We'll get to that one later. Right now I'm going to talk about Safari really fast. Now Safari is Apple's web browser and it originally is for the Apple operating system but it was ported to Windows and to be honest when Apple ports uh, programs to Windows they perform uh, much worse than they do on uh, Apple computers. For instance I believe that Safari is one of the better browsers if you're using an Apple. However, on Windows, I recommend to stay away from this this and Internet Explorer as they are both clunky, slow, and feature many problems. Next, I'm going to talk about are Opera and Chromium. Uh, these are widely considered to be the two best browsers. Uh, Chrome is also Chromium is also Google Chrome. Uh, I just use uh, Chromium because it's a little bit different for me, but probably you will get the uh, Google Chrome. Uh, I'll open up Opera here and you'll see what I mean uh, by the clunky uh, browser titles of the other ones. Also, Safari has a smaller bar too. Uh, Opera is pretty slow to open, but uh, when it does, you can see it has a much cleaner UI user interface. Uh, it's also one of the faster ones and features this is the home screen. It's called Speed Dial. And what Speed Dial is, is essentially your favorite websites that you visit uh, appear here. And you can easily, let's say, go to Amazon.com by clicking on the this and it opens it up. And the speed of Opera is much faster, much nicer, and far more secure than the other browsers. I highly recommend Opera, although it is not my uh, operating system that I personally use. Uh, it is it is very good. Uh, looking at this, it's important to note, however, that every browser states that they are the fastest on Earth. This is not actually 
you know, this is not actually scientifically proven. Finally, uh, there's Chromium or Google Chrome, and this, in my opinion, is the best browser on the market. Um, as you can see, it opened remarkably fast. And if we look at it, it has a similar system as Opera does with the speed dial, or in this case, it's uh, uh, favorites, or I don't know what it's called exactly in Chrome. Chromium is the fastest browser uh, in in my personal test. It opens pages much faster, and it's highly secure. Uh, it's supported by Google, so many of Google's features are built in to the system. So, for instance, uh, my Google Chrome will automatically synchronize my bookmarks with my uh, other Google Chrome. So, uh, on my laptop, for instance, um, the same exact uh, bookmarks appear. Um, and also on Chrome, it's cool that the title, the address bar, which is usually just for typing in, you know, www.google.com or something, address bar also supports active search, so I can search up um, Prague, and it searches, just as if it were Google search. And you can even do some more advanced features of this, and I'll probably do a specific video about uh, things you could do in browsers. But you can, let's say, type YouTube, and then tab, you hit the tab key. Well, YouTube, tab, and then it searches specifically in YouTube videos. So I can search YouTube, hit tab, and I can search Prague in YouTube, and it goes straight to YouTube search. And this is fantastic. And uh, I'm not sure what others there are, but Yahoo, no, there's no Yahoo. Uh, Gmail, tab, mm -hmm. but YouTube works for sure. And that's an nifty feature. So again, it's just you type the, you type YouTube, and then you tap tab and uh, it instantly searches in YouTube just like that. So this is just a short brief on some of the different browsers out there and uh, pretty much the important thing is if you're running on Windows to stay away from Internet Explorer and as soon as you get a new computer or whenever you get the chance switch to one of the other browsers either Opera, Firefox or Chromium. I don't really recommend Safari on Windows although if you're running a Mac Safari is the way to go. And that's about it, so I hope you enjoyed uh, learning about this.